Hi, this is Sasha from theautismhelper.com, and this is a product. So when you download this product, you're going to get a zip drive because there's a few different formats that this product comes in. It comes in an editable PowerPoint zip drive, and you'll open it up, and there's a bunch of different um, resources included in this file. So I'm going to start with the editable PowerPoint. So this is great because you can really go in and modify everything, make it all look nice with your students' names. Obviously, that's how I live, like everything, so I know you guys would too. So this is a PowerPoint, so you can edit whatever you'd like, no big deal. Um, kind of explain that here. If some of the fonts don't work on your computer, it's because you don't have those fonts. All of the fonts included in this resource are from Kevin and Amanda's fonts. So you can download them, or you could just change it to something you already have. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to shoot me an email. So to get started, I have three different versions of binder covers and labels. If you read my website, you know I use binders absolutely everywhere for everything from IEP data to student schedules, student work. And I like to have them coordinate in each area so you kind of know where they go and you know which students they are for. So I like a bunch of different kinds for each types of centers. So I included a few different options. These are chevron borders. I liked these because it saves on ink. You don't have to print a ton because there's a lot of white. Um, there's eight different colors. You can put the student's name right here. So if you wanted to say, you know, Alex's binder, no big deal. Um, and here are the spines. So these are going to get cut out and put on the edge of the binder, so right here. So these are great when you put it in a shelf, you can quickly see exactly whose binder it is. And again, these are editable too, so you can write whoever's binder it is or, you know, language art data, whatever. Um, next are full chevron pages. You know, I like everyone else in the world am obsessed with chevrons. So I like these ones that they're a little bit lighter because they're not, um, they don't take up as much ink and they're not as shocking and will go with kind of any color scheme. Um, so there's 12 different color versions, again, all editable, so you can change the name, um, add whatever you want, IEP data, teacher documents, etc., etc., and here are the spine labels, so it'll look perfectly coordinated when they're on a shelf. And these are my favorite so far, my new ones. I'm going to be using these for my kids' student schedule next year. There's a picture of it right here, how they turned out. Um, they're super cute. Again, they don't take a ton of ink. Um, and there's 15 different versions. So if you have a big class or you need a bunch of different binders but you want a little bit of a color cue, these are perfect. These are from Ashley Hughes, these images, and I love them. So here are the 15 different color options and the spine labels. Um, so next up are morning group headings. So everyone, a lot of people do a morning calendar, a morning center. I think it's really important to label and structure your morning area. So these will give you some ideas on ways to label the different areas of your morning board. I include some pictures on how I do this for mine, but these are just some real basic labels that you can put up even in a gen ed room to keep things organized. Next is a business bulletin board labels. Um, I explain what the purpose of my business bulletin board is, and here are the labels that coordinate with that. Um, next up, homework folder setup, so the description of how to set up a really great folder homework system and the coordinating labels, again, editable so you can put your student's name. Um, next is the word wall headings. I got a lot of emails about where I got these, so I included them and how I or organize my word wall as well. And then a few teacher organization um, little tools. So um, kind of explain the uses in here, and this is a great one that you have your website with your username and password. I use this all the time. And then a monthly, weekly, and quarterly to-do list. Again, editable, so if you want to have things that you do every quarter, you can type it in, laminate this, and check them off with a dry erase marker. Um, real quick, you, this again, here are the PDFs. The PDFs have blank, so you can write them in with marker if you are trying to get things done quick. I like some of these teacher organization tools to be done with pen and pencil. Um, because you don't have to waste the time to go and type it, just get it done real quick. Um, and then are the binder covers and spine labels for worksheets. I've gotten a lot of emails on how to organize, um, the best way to organize worksheets, and I really think the best way is binders, not files. So here are 37 different categories of types of worksheets you might have. Here are the covers, again, editable as well, and then the spine labels. So you can coordinate all of your worksheets by category, so your social studies, parts of speech, easy writing journals. Get your binders set up in the start of the year, so as you make new activities, they go right into the binders, and then they're ready to go when you find them. So again, everything's in one folder, editable and non-editable, so you can really customize this however you want. This is a product preview of back-to-school setup tools by theautismhelper.com.